new survey says many people are still hesitant to get the COVID vaccine and boosters. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. Hey there, everybody. This new survey says many of us don't want to get vaccinated against COVID-19 because we think COVID is over. But those who've conducted the research say otherwise. COVID's not over. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, wanna, I want it to be over, but it's not over. And it may not be over for some time yet. Well, fewer people are being hospitalized and dying from the virus. Dr. Melinda butch Kavasic, who was part of the research team at Ohio's University of Cincinnati that helped conduct the survey, says COVID is definitely not over. And it may not be over for some time yet. We're going to be dealing with this for at least a couple more years, I would imagine. So that means initial vaccines and boosters are critically important as our immunity from initial vaccines and previous infections wanes. But this survey of nearly 1,400 people found especially boosters aren't expected to be popular anytime soon. This week's COVID data tracker says barely one in three of us eligible have gotten one even now. The most common concerns listed in the survey are still vaccine effectiveness and safety. If we don't get vaccinated and we don't have um, a population where we reduce the level of COVID, we're going to continue to have this issue. Dr. Bush Kavasik's team says when they tried to do community education about vaccines, people avoided them, she says, likely because of three things. They didn't want to talk about COVID anymore. They don't want to get attacked if they don't want to get a vaccine. And they are getting vaccine information from non-medical sources. I think there are reasons why some people may not want to get vaccinated. There are good reasons, but they should be good reasons, not, not because you believe something that is, is really not even possible, I think. Now, if your source, she says, is someone other than a healthcare provider, you may want to get a second opinion. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to 